Hey you guys, Jeremy Mattel with Music Marketing TV and today I wanted to show you guys how to use Blue Cat Audio's Freak Analyst Multi. So Blue Cat Audio's Freak Analyst Multi is basically a multi-band version of Blue Cat Audio's Frequency Analyst Pro. The huge difference is you're able to spread this across different tracks, different buses, whatever you need to do to get a multi-channel frequency analyzer. So we'll just start off by, I have it here instantiated in every single bus, my uh, effects, drums, bass, and synths. And what you have here is it basically opens up this curves routing or this routing matrix. You have the left and the right channels. Each can either be left or mid. The right can be right or side. You have the channel average and the channel max. These basically average out things between the channel and then the max one obviously averages things out. Let me show you how easy this is to set up. All you have to do is put an instance into every bus. And let's say I'm going to go for channel average. My effects, I like that like kind of bright green. And name it effects. Hit enter and you're done. Now I'll select my next track. We have the drums. I like my drums to be red. I like my bass to be blue. So we'll go to this blue synths. Uh, my synths will be brown. So now we can exit this matrix. We don't need to open up any other instance. We'll pin this one up. Now if I press play, we'll see all the channels that we have whenever we have any visual audio. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scale this up. And I'm going to actually see where it says filled. I'm going to fill this so we can actually see everything. Let's also hide our list. We don't need that anymore. But if you do want to show the list, you can easily come over here and hide stuff like the effects. Since I'm not routing anything to it right now because this session has not been mixed yet, I don't need it. So. Now that I have that hidden, let me show you more of the other controls. We have the transform, which is the precision, basically how uh, precise it is. The speed of how fast it reacts to that. Your attack envelopes for attack release and peak reset. Your threshold for volume of the detector circuit for the analyzer. And your adjust as far as if you have a really quiet mix, you can boost it up. Or if it's really loud, you can bring it down. Your slope, which is basically slopes, highs and lows. We also have these little arrows. These little arrows actually push these functions into every instance that's active. And this big one pushes all functions. So let me show you. If I bring my position down to one and I push all, you'll see how everything has no position. Push this to 10, push to all. You can see how it gets ridiculously precise. So what I want to do is I want to mess around with the actual precision of the envelope. I want to get this to be more of a mastering style. Let's push that to everything. Let's slow this down to about 350. And let's do a peak reset. Push that. There we go. We can even speed this up by maybe like 100. Push. There we go. Now we have a nice, smooth, clean mastering style analyzer. Now, if we hit freeze this little snowflake, we can see that it actually freezes every instance. So you can actually see my base obviously has a lot of stuff going on over here. It's a little bit uh, non-defined, so it needs to be shaped a little bit, maybe a little saturation, maybe a little bit of compression. My high end is basically almost predominantly featured by the drums. So I need to come up with maybe some bells or some, some kind of like chimes to kind of come in and take that extra space here because that sounds a little bit sparse. So that's it for today's video. This is Jeremy Taylor with Music Marketing TV, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.